Hello everyone, welcome back. Now in this video tutorial, let's uh, face over a new sensor that is ADC1216. Uh, it's a very common sensor used in its, um, electronics as you can see. Uh, for, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over website controleverything.com and here we have to search on for this particular sensor. And let's see what we got here in this particular sensor. And as you can see, uh, there is a long list of sensors being used. Uh, let's pick up the basic one as you can see ADC 1 to 1. It's a one channel uh, analog to digital converter sensor. Uh, these are some more prominent features which you are able to see on this particular screen. And also you can purchase this sensor from here. Well, for this video tutorial, I'm going to interface the sensor ADC 1 to 1 C with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code and to get that code let's go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. You can download the Arduino code sample as a zip file from this website right from here and also you can have the code from github.com and you can download the code from the repository that is controlled everything community. Well now make some connections for the hardware setup and let's see what we got there. Now in the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Next we require an I2C sheet just like this. Now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this sheet is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet and make a connection like that. For the power up function, what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here, the power jack. Now what do we require next is our sensor that is ADC121C and this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure that while making the connection, we have to make the connection of the ground terminal of the sensor to the ground wire of the cable and similarly for the I2C shield, the same rule has to be applied. So, we are done with all the connections. Now what do we require next is to have a look over the code. Now coming to the interfacing part, well, the first step is to log into github.com and here we have to search on for the official repository that is control everything community. Then we have to check for the sensor that is ADC121C and 021 uh, is for the reference as you can see. Uh, it's the same sensor and here comes the Arduino code. But before that, let's have a look over the instructions we need to pull up together and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and arduino.cc is the link which will have the relevant software installation steps. As you can see, we can download the software from here and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux. It's your choice on which operating system you want to run it but do it carefully. After getting the software, uh, as you can see, we have to download or get pull the code and we have to double click the file to run the program and after that the last step is to compile and upload the code and we can have our output onto the serial monitor. So after doing this step we have to get back to the code as you can see on my screen. It's a dot ino extension royal. Now in the code we can see that we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x50. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and simple communication with baud rate equal to 9600. And in the void loop function, we are going to have a data register from where we are going to read, as you can see, uh, calling conversion register, result register that is 0x00. And after that, we are going to read and request. First of all, request and then read two bytes of the data that is raw ABC, MSB, and LSB. And then we have the conversion of the data into 12 bits which is according to the guidelines of this data sheet or the sensor ADC 121C and at the very end we have the output da data to be displayed on to the serial monitor which exactly is the digital value of analog input in short draw value. So this is how the code looks like. Now what do we require next is to look over the working. Let's have a look over the working now and for that first of all we have to copy this entire code of the Arduino and we have to open up the Arduino terminal IDE and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen and let's save it what we got here and uh, for the reference name we are going to reference it or uh, 021 as you can see and let's see what we got here after the verification and the compilation of the code 
and it's done now the next step is to upload the code the code is being uploaded and it might take a while but it will be done and as you can see it's done great and for the output we have to show it on to the serial monitor and for that let's open up the serial monitor and we have the digital value of analog input it's coming zero which means there is nothing connected among the terminals of the sensor but instead when I try it to connect with a AA battery of 1.5 source voltage as you can see we have the digital value of analog input it's almost near to 780 779 coming to constant which means the sensor is connected right to a battery it's almost there on the terminals so this is how the sensor works it responds now we have to check for the applications and the benefits the features of this sensor the ADC 121C and the family of ADC 121C021 is a converter that is low power monolithic 12 bit analog to digital converter that operates from a 2. Point plus 2.7 to 5.5 volt supply. The converter is based upon a successive approximation register architecture with an internal track and hold circuit that can handle input frequencies up to 11 megahertz. The device features an I2C compatible serial interface that operates in all three speed modes including high speed mode 3.4 MHz. Due to these good features, it is applicable in a lot of applications like system monitoring, peak detection, portable instruments, medical instruments, test equipment, automotive and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.